le New Wave, c'était une volonté de faire du neuf avec du vieux. So tell me why you wanted to make a movie about the New Wave scene in Montreal in the 80s. Well, I had some free time, you know, like four years in front of me. <laughs> That's what it took to make the film. Uh, well, I'd, I had made Montreal Punk, as you know, um, four years ago, and I wanted to follow up on that research of the underground scene in Montreal. And not just music, but uh, performance art. There's painting, there's uh, multimedia. And also because I think there's a, a lack in our filmography of uh, Quebec uh, culture, uh, in the 70s and 80s, we, nobody had done anything about punk or new wave. And I think they're both uh, cultural movements that are really uh, interesting and that, uh, you know, we, somebody had to do something about it. How did you decide to focus in on, which was really kind of more the electronic, kind of classic new wave? How did you make that decision? You know, since you're mo I'm making a movie, I need visual uh, archives. So the bands that, I, that had visual archives, uh, at least f photographs, uh, and I, I made my choice with those bands that I had something to show. So, but I, I you know, there's still a few bands in the, in the film that are guitar oriented, not just uh, synth. But, um, and then you have to build a story, you have to make a film that works, so you make choices. Uh, you know, it's always very hard. My first version at eight, it was eight hours long, so... Uh, that might not have worked so well. No, no, so, <laughs> so now it's an hour and a half, and um, of course I had to let go some of the bands that I really liked, but uh, there was a limited amount of space. And if you had to say, like, I mean, so I know this scene, you know the scene, but for, you know, someone, a younger audience who doesn't know it all, why is it relevant for them to see these bands from the 80s in Montreal? Well, first of all, they, they sound great. Uh, some of them sound very uh, today, like yeah, very contemporary, you know. Yeah, and uh, they're they're very fun to watch. They're very eccentric people and very colorful. So it's uh, I think it's a fun movie to watch. And there's uh, over 30 bands in the film. Most of them uh, people don't know. Uh, only a few of them had made records at the time. So. Uh, of course, some people might go for Men Without Hats or for um, Trans X, or a band that are more known, but you, you discover a whole bunch of bands that are really interesting. Merci, Eric. Merci. <laughs>